What's up guys, my name is Andrew Suarez and today we're going to be talking about what is Arch Linux. So I've gotten this question multiple times about what is Arch Linux or what is the distro I use. So Arch Linux to me is one of the best Linux distributions you can use. It is the best. Out of all the Linux distributions I've tried, I've tried Linux Mint, Ubuntu, a bunch of them, like a lot of them. There's a lot of different options you can choose from. And what I've found that I, there's there's good things in one, there's good things in another, but then they don't do exactly what I want. They're not perfect. Each and every one of them, they're really good, but then they're like, they're not it's exactly what I wanted. Or I see something else, I'm like, mm, I'll try that. And this is one of the longest distributions I've ever used. I've used this since April of last year, and I'm going to continue to use it for the, like, the rest of my life. Because the level of customization you can do with Arch Linux is amazing. It is better than Ubuntu or Linux Mint. You can choose everything from, you can focus everything on, say you want to use everything with open source software, you could really do that. Or you can, if you really want to go this, like the make it work route, you can use NVIDIA drivers like I use. I use the NVIDIA proprietary drivers and you can choose the different type of interface. So you can use GNOME, you can use XFCE, like XFCE here right here, which is um, with the, like the bottom menu, actually, that's actually GNOME. But you can use all any of them. I've used GNOME before on Arch Linux, and I've used um, X, uh, KDE on Linux, and now I'm using Cinnamon. Cinnamon, I went with this Cinnamon because, I don't know, I wanted to change it up because I've used GNOME before, I used KDE before. So I was like, okay, let me use cinnamon because I already XFCE I would I was gonna use but I was like I already have the Mac side I don't really need another Mac looking machine and what I've done is it really looks really really good and what I've done is I have a uh, different themes going on using the new mix icon pack I have a custom start menu with the uh, custom start menu logo so you can really go down into the nitty-gritty and actually customize everything about your system every every little things the icons it uses the fonts it uses if you download, which I recently downloaded uh, today for my previous video, which was about uh, photo editors, I downloaded a font and I needed to get GNOME font editor or font viewer so I can download fonts. So when building Arch Linux, so when you when you first get the Arch Linux live CD, it's not really a live CD, it's more like the installer CD. So when you first launch your, your installer CD, all you get is terminal. You start with terminal and then from there you have to format your hard drive, get your network set up, format the hard drive, do a bunch of different things. Then installing the base system and all that stuff. And it's very complicated and it's hard to remember off the top of my head about what the, what the exact structure is to do it. But once you get all that done and installed, you take your CD out and then you have, you're still at a terminal. Then it's time to get your video drivers and then you're, you pick which interface you want. GNOME, XFCE, and a bunch of others and then from there then you after that you bare bones so you get your interface you get your mouse and keyboard and everything to work and then you have to get your programs and so the main difference between linux mint and ubuntu to arch linux is the terminal commands so like in linux mint you used to do sudo apt get and the main difference with arch linux is the apt get part so instead of apt get we use the command pacman so to update a program to download a program you do sudo pacman dash s so that's the equivalent of sudo apt get and once you did that then you could put the program name next to it so um, google or chrome or a program name so doing this usually we would go to the arch wiki or the aur so let's go there now archlinux.org so archlinux.org is the best website or resource you could ever need like everything is here and in the aur this is where you can see where you want to install a program. So if you say you want, say you want one of these programs here, we'll do Freenet for example. You have to make note of where it's coming from. So network. So network. I'm not going to be able to download Freenet from the dash s command. It's not going to be found. That's because it's under network. The dash s command for installing a program only can reach the extra and community categories. So when you see a program under extra or community, you're going to be able to do it from the dash s command. Now for a thing like network, you'd have to download the tarball or we get it, w get it and do it that way and through terminal build it basically. But in for arch, there is things called a terminal helper or a package helper. And for me, I have yoruit. So yoruit is a French word for yogurt and 
through that, then you can install programs that are not in the main two directories, extra and community. They're not in the main repositories to download. So from here, then now I can download a, I can download Freenet. And if I hit one, I can continue with the download. And then through here, it will build it for you. It will get the p package build, the PKG build file, and then do everything. And from there, you can even edit the build file to make it work for your Arch installation. Now, if you're not willing to do all this headache to set up your Arch system, there is a great, it's built off Arch and it's called AnswerGhost. AnswerGhost Linux is the main alternative from doing it the Arch way or from the, from the bottom to the top. Antergos, I am going to make a video on Antergos once I get um, another hard drive for my computer or I'm going to put it on one of my external drives and I haven't gotten to do it yet. But I will make a video covering this um, Linux system. I'll cover this Linux distro in a video and really, it really is good because it really takes up the headache part of setting up Arch Linux and you even can connect Antergos with the AUR and it comes with Numix already. So I've, I've tried the live CD already in a virtual box and it really looks good. It's really good. So if you're really... If you don't want to have to think about installing everything from the bait from the bottom to the top, then I'd go with Answer Ghost because it, it's gonna let you pick. It lets you pick which interface you want. You can do XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, uh, Mate, Mate, Mate. I can't say it. Mate, whatever how you say it. Um, every every interface you ever want to think of, you can download with through Answer Ghost. And I was surprised when I thought I, I I was wondering if it was actually Arch based. And then when I tried to do a sudo apt get command, it didn't work. So I was like, oh. It's based off Arch. So that was a really a basic overview of what Arch Linux is, the differences between Ubuntu and Linux Mint, the plus and minuses about it. There is some problems I've had. I've had updating the system because something I haven't mentioned already is um, the updating, you're getting the better update support. You're getting the latest and greatest updates for any programs on the system. So new drivers come out, new, do different things. And the more it updates, the more it can break, the more chances it has to break. So recently, NVIDIA has updated their driver, and when I updated the driver, it, my whole system stopped working. And I didn't even notice that it didn't work because it didn't shut down automatically. The update hadn't updated everything yet. It didn't fully update until I restarted the computer back to Windows. Then I went back to Linux a few days later, and then it didn't boot. It got stuck at loading graphical interfaces. And at that point, I was like, what happened? So I had a I had an Alt F2 into terminal into the terminal, try to see why. X didn't start or the, the the screen the start screen did not start and it was because the NVIDIA driver had broke during the update process whatever it did to update itself it didn't work properly and doing I had to uninstall and reinstall NVIDIA it, then I got it back to work as you can see my desktop is uh, live and well now but I was kind of worried because I've had a lot of issues with the NVIDIA driver the NVIDIA driver like I've said before is one of the worst supported drivers on Linux and having to mess with it one time I get it to work I'm not going to touch it ever again and having it stop working is a headache because I'm like oh god am I going to have to reinstall Arch Linux again because of NVIDIA so I'm happy I got it to work but that's a, that's a thing that could happen. Um, NVIDIA could mess up. Some program might mess something with something else, and it's a chain reaction of breaking. So that's a possibility, and if you're willing to do that, then go ahead. I'm willing to do it. I love Arch Linux. It is one of the best Linux distributions ever because when I want to get a program, say I want to get a, a, a photo editor like Pixel, Pixelvo or Pinta or Kadian Live, I can get it like that through the AUR because I can go AUR, Kadian Live, done, download, 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 done. And I don't have to think of finding a dot deb, going to like the Ubuntu App Store, stuff like that. It's it's a it's a different type of headache, but I feel like finding a program on Arch Linux is so much easier and so much better that I definitely recommend it. So that's gonna be it for this video. What do you think about Arch Linux? Leave it in the comments below, and I'll message back to you. So that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.